And it is estimated about 2.7 million Americans have something called atrial fibrillation, but many of them don't even know they have it. So what is it and how do you treat it? What do you look out for, for yourself and for your family? Welcome, welcome Dr. Sri Sundram. He is a cardiologist at Porter Adventist Hospital and also Kay Jensma's Jensmas here. And she's here to tell us more because you have a firsthand experience with all this. So thank you for coming in. Thank you. Yes. Okay, well, doctor, first let's, let's talk about the signs of this. Does this affect women more than men? It actually affects uh, about the same. Men and women are equally affected. Uh, it's the most common abnormal rhythm in the United States. About one in four people will get it at one point in their lifetime. Okay, well, is this something that is extremely serious? What are the, what's the first sign? Well, the first sign is actually patients may just not feel well. They feel like they have a cold or a cough or just down for the week. And then gradually progresses to the point that it can cause strokes and even become life-threatening. So is there a way to test for this, the, the, just a positive test for this? Um, a simple way is just to visit your own doctor and get your heart checked out. Okay, so if you're not feeling well in general, just don't blow it off is what you're saying. Correct. Okay, now Kay, you had this happen. What were the first symptoms for you? Oh, I felt very flu-like and was just kept getting sicker and sicker. And then I'd have a couple of good days, and then the next thing I knew, I was in bad shape. Oh. Okay, so what, what was the treatment for you? The treatment was, in the beginning, was just medication. And then when I got to meet Dr. Sundaram, then it became a, an ablation. Okay. Now this ablation, is this some, how simple is this procedure? Uh, it's a minimally invasive procedure, but it's actually quite complex in what we actually do inside the heart. Uh, the procedure can take up to four hours to do. Okay, and we're taking a look right now at, at that procedure. What are we seeing? Well, this is a new surgical hybrid approach that we do, that I do with the uh, open heart surgeons. Uh, what you're seeing is that the atrial fibrillation comes from a structure inside the heart called the pulmonary veins. And what we're doing is surrounding the pulmonary veins, essentially forming a scar around the pulmonary veins, mm. but from the inside. Well, that is really interesting, and it's amazing to see how far things have come because there's so many things that are minimally invasive. So I guess there's just really no reason, if you don't feel well, not to get that checked out, right? right. That's right. And I was pretty dumb about it. And people really need to know that they, if they don't feel good, things aren't right, they just don't feel that good, check it out. All right. Well, thank you so much, doctor. And thank you, Kay, for coming in and really giving us that firsthand information. And what we want to do is encourage everybody to just take a listen to your body. Listen, do not ignore those signs because it's important to stay healthy and keep your family healthy too. Speaking of healthy, all right. I know meteorologists.